everyone! Again, your scientist is here, Nicole Wayne Unson, and you are watching I Can Science You! Episode 9, entitled Experiment 2, I Swear, Ice Hold You Strong! On today's experiment, we need ice, salt, yarn, a watch or timer, and a bowl with water. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it! The first step is to put 3 pieces of ice in a bowl of water. Ice floats because ice is less than water. Then, search for ice whose surface is about water level and try to use the piece of yarn to pick up an ice by laying one end of it across that ice. You'll notice that it is not possible, right? No matter how long we wait. Now, in order to make this work, lay the piece of yarn over the ice again. Then sprinkle some salt over the yarn and wait for a minute. After a minute has passed, carefully pick up the ends of the yarn and see what happens. Wow! Amazing! Let's count 15 seconds for this with a height of 1 foot away from the water. Yay! It worked! Our first trial did not work because the yarn can't lift the ice. As we lay the piece of yarn into the surface of ice without adding salt on it, we can see that the yarn did not stick to the ice no matter how long we wait for the yarn to stick. However, our second trial did work because in this case, the yarn can lift the ice. By simply adding salt, you are able to pick up the ice even without touching it. But how does this experiment work? We have to keep in mind that this experiment involves one of the colligative properties of solution, the freezing point depression. Freezing point depression is the presence of solute lowers the freezing point of a pure solvent. So meaning, in this case, salt lowers the freezing point or temperature at which ice can melt and water can freeze. Salt is a solute and water is solvent. Usually, ice melts and water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but if you add salt on it, ice will melt at a lower or colder temperature. On this experiment, once the salt was added to the ice, the ice melted a little. It is because the salt is in a thin layer, so it melts a thin layer on the top of the ice. After that, it takes heat from the surrounding of the water, then quickly refreezes around the yarn, causing the ice to stick to the yarn. And finally, we can lift up the ice even without touching it. In conclusion, the reason why the yarn stick to the ice is because of the freezing point depression being brought by the salt. Hope you enjoy and learn a lot. See you in another episode. Bye!